Hi, I'm Xiang Hui from Washington University in St. Louis. Today I'll present from high bar to uneven bars, a three-tier certification and cellular dynamics. This is joint work with So Kun Liu and Wei Qing Zhang from New York University. In markets where sellers are privately informed of their quality, third-party certification is often used to mitigate asymmetric information. There are many examples of certification, including BBB ratings for firms, investment grades in financial markets, and various certification badges in the digital economy. Certification allows buyers to identify sellers who pass the bar of the certification when they search. For example, on a search result page on eBay, buyers can tell whether a seller is certified by looking for the top rated seller badge. On the plus side, certification mitigates the asymmetric information for buyers. On the downside, however, the use of certification can create cold start problem for young high quality sellers because certification is often granted based on past history, but new sellers have no such history. Can we soften this trade off through the design of certification? In this table, sellers are different in their ages in the market and their quality, and certification is granted to old high quality sellers in the market. Under this two tier certification, young high quality sellers are pulled with low quality ones in the eyes of consumers, which hurts their demand. A natural solution for this is to create a second signal that can separate young high quality sellers. Therefore, we ask, what would happen if we introduce a second signal that increases market transparency for young sellers? In this paper, the second signal is in the form of introducing a lower bar on eBay. Before the policy change, consumers observe whether a seller passes the high bar or the certification, which is based on both past sales and past quality. After the policy change, the requirements for the high bar remain the same, and eBay introduces a low bar as the second signal. The low bar has no requirements on past sales, making it less history dependent. Also, the low bar has lower requirements on quality making it less demanding than the existing certification. To evaluate the policy effect, we use an experiment that eBay did in August 2017, when eBay randomly enrolled half of the sellers who have signed up for the waitlist of the new program. Essentially, sellers in both treatment and control groups want to enroll in the program, but only treatment group got in. Our first finding is that the second signal causes young high quality sellers to exert more effort and are more likely to get, become certified eventually. The reason is that um, second signal is less history dependent and therefore a high quality entrance will be able to get this signal quickly after entry and enjoy a higher demand today. Which means that she's more likely to meet the sales requirements of the certification and become certified tomorrow better career perspective incentivizes her to exert more effort today to also meet the quality requirements of the certification tomorrow. Our second finding is that certified sellers with high effort cost exert less effort and are more likely to opt out of the stringent certification and adopt the new signal instead. Essentially, the introduction of the second signal makes the existing certification less attractive by offering a low cost signaling opportunity. And therefore, a certified seller will step down from the certification if her cost of being certified is relatively high. Our last result shows that markets with more binding sales requirements for certification experience larger increases in uh, the average quality and number of certified sellers. Recall that the second signal helps young sellers because it has no requirements on past sales. Therefore, the effect will be larger in markets where past sales requirements of the certification are more binding. In fact, the sign on quality provision and share of certified sellers can reverse if the sales requirements are not binding because some certified sellers may step down and provide lower quality as a result of the second signal. Our results have a couple of implications for market regulators. They suggest that a less history dependent signal could serve as a stepping stone in young high quality sellers career and incentivizes their quality provision. However, if the second signal is also less demanding, market regulators should expect that seller dynamics to go either directions and the overall effect on seller certification dynamics and quality provision depends on market fundamentals. Thank you.